All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you a 67 and 0 gameplay on the new map Grind. I get the double capture kill right there, and this is the new Revolution DLC map pack that just came out. And I'm bringing you. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, highest flawless that anyone has gotten so far. And this could have easily been 100 plus gameplay, but we pretty much triple capped the entire game. And uh, I finished with 67 and 0 and uh, 26 gun streak. I'm in a load star as the game is ending. Gonna get my swarm, of course, and uh, I think we beat these guys 200 to 40, maybe 200 like 45, something like that. You'll see at the end of the gameplay, they barely get any um, points at all anytime on the flag. This game ended like three minutes early, so I easily would have got 100 kills. Right here, I pick up the Peacekeeper as well, which is the new SMG slash assault rifle, I guess you could say, that came out with the DLC map pack as well. And so there are four maps that came out, which would be uh, Grind, Hydro, Mirage, and uh, what's the last one? Downhill? Snow Hill? It's the snowy one. Downhill, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, but this is Grind. This is like a skate park. And this is easily the best map, in my opinion, so far that has come out in uh, in the map packs. And this is honestly one of the best map packs that's come out in a very long time for uh, Call of Duty. Probably the last map that I really liked from DLC was Stadium from Black Ops 1. And this map kind of reminds me of that as well. I don't know the colors and stuff, but uh, this map's pretty small. And uh, it is a linear map. They're all linear except for Mirage, which is like a triangle map. But uh, I have a gameplay. I'll, I'll talk about the other maps later, but uh, this map, its I really enjoy this map a lot. And uh, I'm playing 6v6 in this as well, so not even Ground War. I still managed to drop 67 kills. And uh, this was actually supposed to be a live commentary. This was actually my first game ever on the map. Um, I live comm my first four games on like all the four new maps for Dom. And like an idiot, I didn't hit the live th comm thing on the Elgato, so it didn't save. The only one that saved was the first one, which you guys should have already seen that. That one would be uploaded before this. Um, I'm not sure I haven't uploaded any of them yet, but I'm doing the comms and stuff. So um, if it is uploaded, it'll be a link. Be sure to check my channel all day today. Um, we're uploading all kinds of DLC videos and stuff, and uh, I should be getting the Diamond Peacekeeper by tonight, and uh, I'll try to get some Diamond Peacekeeper gameplay up tomorrow, maybe even tonight, who knows, but uh, yeah, that's definitely on my list of things to do, and I'm right here in this gameplay, also I guess I'll break down my class if you guys really care, it's typical PDW class, um, actually, you know what, actually I use a different PDW setup than everyone else, so actually I will break it down, um, I'm actually running just Suppressor on the PDW, and I'm running... Uh, Ghost, Hardline, Toughness, Scavenger, and Tag Mask. Maybe Dexterity. I'll have to see when I climb. I think I'm running Tag Mask, actually, though. I usually run Tag Mask. And, uh, yeah, right here, I almost... I freaked out here because this kid got some shots on me, but... Got the capture kill right there. Picked up the, uh, load star. But, yeah, so... And, uh, that's my setup, and I just went with a gun that I felt comfortable with for the, uh... DLC, because this was my first time playing it and everything. And, basically, some tips on this map is, uh... It's very easy to kind of spawn trap them. Um, you'll see later in the gameplay when I call on the swarm, this building right here on the left by the C spawn. The C is a very strong spawn. And you'll see later on, I'll be like right next to them and they'll be spawning around me. And uh, when I get to that part of the gameplay, I'll point it out and show you guys what you need to kind of do. And uh, in my opinion, you need to kind of stay by that building when you call on the swarm. Otherwise, you won't give very many kills. Right here, luckily I picked this guy off. And uh, I noticed that the thing about the DLC is when it comes out, all the, um, usually the better players get it, like the noobs, they, don't, they probably don't even know the DLCs come out. So it's kind of hard to get like super good gameplays because everyone you're playing knows what they're doing. And uh, they, they you know, spent the money on the DLC, so they, they probably are decent Call of Duty players, if not good Call of Duty players. So it makes it a little bit harder to get gameplay. So 67, I'm, I'm sure this will get beaten within the next week. I'm sure I'll probably beat it myself, I don't know, but uh, it's just, the DLC came out. Got the really nice gameplay on it. This is probably one of the best gameplays I've seen so far. I've seen people uploading some stuff. I have seen some nuclear and stuff, which is very nice. But uh, as far as like assault kill streaks go, this is uh, definitely one of the best gameplays I've seen so far. So right here, I'm in the low star. When I come out of the slow star, then you'll see. I actually didn't. I kept the low stars in here because I thought you guys would want to see kind of where they spawn and stuff when they're low stars. They shot me down right there. But right here, I call in this. Uh, Swarm. Now, this building I'm in right now, this is the building I'm talking about. When I was playing it in the first round, I noticed they were spawning in here. And uh, so what I did is I'm staying in here now, and you can see that this swarm is really going to work because they're not able to spawn in this building. Because it, usually they'll just spawn in here. I guess this is a like, bathroom. I don't know. Yeah, it is a bathroom. Um, yeah, so usually they would spawn in here, and they would just camp in here. So what you'll notice is right when I pick up this blackbird, 
which I'm about to pick it up like right here. I killed the guy to get it. And you'll notice that then I come out of it, but as soon as I step out of this building, they spawn in here, and I just circle back in and kill them. So, and, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I also went on a 26 gun streak this game. Um, four off the nuclear and the game ended, so that would have been nice as well to add. And right here, you see how I left, and then they immediately spawned in there. The other guy left the game, but as soon as I left, you saw how they spawned in there. And uh, that's what I'm talking about. See, I left, then they spawned in there again. That's what, I, um, that's what I'm talking about. This is a very strong spawn in here. So definitely when you call in a swarm, you want to stay in that building to uh, ensure that you get your kills and your load stars as well. So that's pretty much all the tips and stuff I want to say about the map. Be sure to leave me a like rating if you guys enjoyed it. Um, let's try to hit like 500 likes on this video. That would be much appreciated. And uh, be sure to check my channel all day today, all this whole week, for all the best DLC content you will see. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Peace out.